This is our fifth lesson on radicals, and it's on rationalizing denominators using the conjugate. Um, you remember yesterday we had to get rid of any radicals on the bottom of fractions. Um, today we're going to look at how to do that if they're a little more complicated. So the first thing we need to look at is what can I multiply this by so that there are no radicals left. And if I multiply it by root 3 plus root 5, and I multiply that through, I'm going to get root 9 minus root 15 plus root 15 minus root 25, which is 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So notice these roots in the middle here disappeared, and these guys are perfect squares. Okay, and when, here's our definition. So we need to multiply by the conjugate, the conjugate being exactly the same except for one of the signs has changed. So in this case, if I multiply by 2 minus root 6 and multiply that through, I'm going to get 4 minus 2 root 6 plus 2 root 6 minus root 36 which is 4 minus 6 equals negative 2, no square roots in sight. Okay, this guy, if I multiply by root 2 plus 3 root 7, that's not a 7. Square roots are going to go away. So I end up with root 4 plus 3 root 21, minus 3 root 21, minus 9 root 49. So I get 2 minus 9 times 7 is 63, is negative 61. C seems a little bit different, but the easiest thing we can do with C here is just rewrite it as 3 root 5 minus 2 root 3, then it just looks like all the other questions above. So we get 3 root 5 plus 2 root 3, so that's 9 root 25, plus 6 root 15, minus 6 root 15, minus 4 root 9, which is 45 minus 12 equals 33, no square roots. Okay, and we'll have, let's have a look at how we can use this to get rid of square roots on the bottom. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom here, and I'm going to put my brackets on here first to remind myself that it's as if they're there. And multiply top and bottom here by 3 plus 2 root 6, because that's a conjugate of the denominator. That is a 6. So on the top, 9 root 2, plus 6 root 12, minus 18, minus 12 root 6 all over 9 plus 6 root 6 minus 6 root 6 minus 4 root 36 so we should change that 12 into a mixed radical so that's 9 root 2 plus 6 times 2 root 3 minus 18 minus 12 root 6 all over those go to 0 so I get 9 minus 4 times 6 is 24 okay and let's just do a little cleaning up on the top and the bottom No 
notice there's no like terms on top. And then 9 minus 24 is negative 15. And normally now we'd multiply top and bottom by negative 1 just to get the negative off of the bottom. Okay, and again for part B, I'm going to throw these brackets on here. And I'm going to multiply this first guy. I'm going to be a bit lazy here and just write my conjugate over here on the left. So that's root 2 plus root 3 over root 2 plus root 3. And then this term on the right here, I'll multiply by the conjugate. Root 7 minus root 3 over root 7 minus root 3. Oops. So I need to multiply that through, so I get 3 root 14 plus 3 root 21, and that's all over root 4 minus root 6 plus root 6 minus root 9. Oops. Plus, and we're going to have to rainbow that top guy through. Root 21 minus root 9 minus 2 root 7 plus 2 root 3. All over. Root 49 minus root 21 plus root 21 minus root 9. Okay, so the top on the left here, there's nothing we can do about that. We're going to get 3 root 14 plus, oops, 3 root 21. And that's going to be over 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 21 minus 3 minus 2 root 7 plus 2 root 3. And that's going to be all over 4 minus 3, or sorry, 7 minus 3 is 4. Okay, now we just need a common denominator of 4. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom over here by negative 4. That'll give me negative 12 root 14, oops, minus twelve root twenty-one all over four. And this guy will just stay the same. And now that we have a common denominator, we can add the tops. And there aren't any like, oh, there are like terms. We got negative 12 root 21 and a positive 1 root 21. Those are our only like terms. All done.